From the University of California at Davis, this is News Watch. A study by UC Davis questions the scientific logic of the effort to limit our salt intake. This comes to light despite public health guidelines that push for lower sodium consumption. Some medical experts say salty diets can cause hypertension. So what should we do? Increase or decrease the amount of salt we consume? Well, it turns out, according to the study, that our bodies naturally adjust to the amount of salt we eat. Well, the brain adjusts the mechanisms by which your body uses salt, and it's hardwired in. If you don't get enough salt or sodium, you have a sodium appetite, which means that you seek out sodium. Stern, one of the co-authors on the study, says sodium is not the bad compound that some think it is. We need a certain amount of sodium and potassium and magnesium and calcium, and that's what's really important for controlling blood pressure. One of the most asked questions by students at the nutrition desk in the UC Davis dining halls has to do with sodium. Stern says if salt is reduced in our foods, most of us will add it to enhance flavor. Despite the fact that FDA thinks all their information is based on science, it isn't. Despite the, the thought that the dietary guidelines are all based on science, it isn't. And there are some areas where we don't have the science, but we do have the science in sodium. Don't ignore it. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.